We'll see you on the beach. Our objective is to win the war. Buckle up. I just ate eggs, crackers, and a chorizo sausage and a popsicle because I had to fuel because this movie's like three hours long. Maybe when I'm hungry, maybe I react better. Someone on my channel commented and said that this is like the trifecta of Tom Hanks movies. Oh, Saving Private Ryan, Forrest Gump, and The Green Mile. So guess we're watching them all. Is this supposed to be a war veteran and they're like following him because he's being interviewed or something? Oh, wow. Oh, look at him. Oh, man. All the soldiers that were lost. Oh. Dad. Oh. Why is my tissue box on the floor? <laughs> There's a story told from his perspective. Is he Private Ryan? <sighs> June 6, 1944. I would be so scared. Oh, it's Tom. Oh, packing a huge piece of chewing tobacco in his mouth. Oh, I'm with you, brother. I would also be vomiting. I get so seasick and also so scared. Oh. Move fast and clear those murder holes. We'll see you on the beach. Oh, no, you won't. It's like literal suicide. Oh, sign of the cross. Yep, I'd be praying too. Oh, it's just so sad. Just picking them off. People are so brave, man. Oh my God, all the bullet bullets in the water. Terrifying. He's stuck. He drowned. Like literally surviving this would have been luck. Wouldn't it have been? Oh my God, the water is just blood. There's like no words. How scary this would have been. Oh, he has an arm anymore. Oh no, they're all on fire. Oh, what do we do now? Move your men off the beach! What's the rallying point? Anywhere but here! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. You stay here! Just listen to them, just go. So terrifying, they're just literally just picking them off. Mama! Oh. Mama! Ah! Under the floor, the medical will kill you, sir! Grab yourselves and weapons, follow me! I gotta clear these obstacles! Order, sir! Oh my gosh. Just absolute mayhem. How do you even get out of here? How do you even survive this? It's just how they've depicted this and the camera footage, the bouncing of the camera, just the sounds, everything. You just feel like you're there with them. Who's in command here? You are, sir! Do you recognize where we are? Why are we supposed to be? We do not hold the beach. <gasps> it's not working. No. Move on to somebody you can help. Let's go. Battalion surgeon, sir. You just want to be able to save everybody, and you just wouldn't be able to. Gosh, look at the blood on the camera lens. We stopped the bleeding. <gasps> oh my gosh. Just give us a fucking chance, you son of a bitch. So demoralizing. You just want to save people. That's why you're there. They're killing us! Yeah, they are. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, they have to take everything off everybody that's dead or dying. Bring up some Bangalores! Is he just gathering himself? Oh, my gosh, like, how? How do you even try to save anybody like this? This is so... 
Sad and terrifying. Oh, Jesus! Lucky pass. Oh my god. He was lucky for a second. Fire in the hole. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Priority. Oh yeah, they have like all their like medical code words. Like who they're gonna save, what they're gonna do, who they're just gonna leave. That'd be so hard. This is so smart. Ivan, Malik, let's get into the war. Yeah, put some fire on them. So much courage, you know? It's just like, we know nothing of this. We can do here is die. Covering fire! Ooh, well, I guess he's captain, not sergeant. <laughs> I don't know all the terms. Whoa. Ooh, that's gonna get shot, isn't it? <laughs> Kissing his cross. Oh my god, big kahunas, big kahunas. Whoa, run like the wind, buddy. I thought you were my mother. <laughs> okay, second laugh in the first like 10 minutes. Oh, he snipes. Oh, I got him. Oh. All my strength. God, what is it? Oh man, they are in business. Holy crap. Oh, swastika. Taking over this bunker. <gasps> He's like a flame gun. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. Torch him. Don't shoot! Let him burn! Oh yeah, I guess save your ammo, right? <gasps> they surrender. Are they gonna take them as hostages and get some information? <laughs> Ugh, this gives me the shivs. It's so scary. It's Vin Diesel. <laughs> dog one is open. Send in the dog. Oh, they're gonna shoot him. Yep. Look at this, a Hitler youth knife. Now it's a Shabbat Holocaust, right? Oh, man, what a cast in this movie. Oh man, buddy. <laughs> For those that survived this, really did well. You guys got that beach. Oh my gosh, he's collecting dirt from all the countries he's fought war in. I would also be shaking like crazy. Yes, it is. Quite a view. The destruction and the sadness and the immense loss. Like it, <laughs> you would just be so thankful to be alive. And then you'd be so sad for everybody that you lost. R.I.P. to everybody who lost their life to fight for their country. Ryan S. Is he alive? Oh, all the letters that they have to write to all the families that lost their son or husband or brother. What did she discover? What is it? <gasps> is that Brian Cranston? I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. <gasps> Oh my God, how horrible would that be? That's not all, there's a fourth brother, the youngest. He, he's somewhere in Normandy, we don't know where. Yeah. All your children dead? Oh my God, you're receiving all the letters in one day? What cruel fate is that? Never good news, never. Look at their beautiful, picturesque farm. Oh, look at the photo of them all. Oh, the priest. That's when you know. Yeah, oh. Oh. Oh my god. All four of them were in the same company in the 29th Division, but we split them up. He could be anywhere. In fact, he's probably KIA. What's KIA? Killed in action? Oh man, okay, so they're gonna bring the brother back home so the mom doesn't lose all four of her kids? Is that, this is what the movie's about? Feel how weak and fruitless must be any words of mine would attempt to beguile you from the grief. Yeah, wouldn't be able to. In the thanks of the Republic, they died to save. He's memorized it. Yours very sincerely and respectfully, Abraham Lincoln. <gasps> oh, it was from the president at that time. That was a really well-written letter. The boy's alive. We are gonna send somebody to find him. Yeah, okay. Bring home her last son. Okay. Omaha Beach, D-Day plus three. Whew. Helmet line is a really amazing makeup detail that they've done. It's a tough assignment, that's why you got it. Oh my gosh. I've got another one for you. Oh, 
I'm giving it to him. He's got to save Private Ryan. Some private in the 101st lost three brothers and he's got a ticket home. So the other Ryan was one of the brothers that died on the beach. He wasn't alive. <laughs> Could be arriving on VAR, Jackson, Wade, Beasley, and Caparza. Beasley's dead. All right, Mellish then. Oh my gosh. Picking his uh, crew, and they will for sure need someone who speaks French. Now you listen liked up. it in the ass. What? I thought you liked it in the <laughs> ass. Oh my god. I'm looking for Corporal Upham, yes, Timothy E. I'm up, I'm oh. I understand you speak French. What a sweetheart. It's just a slight one in French, but my German's clean has a touch of the Bavarian. So. Very good. You've been reassigned to me. Grab Thanks, your gear. <laughs> Touch of Bavarian. Oh my god, he's adorable. And just if you consider I've never been in combat, so I make maps and I translate. I need someone who speaks French and German. Yes. Oh my god. Fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. He's like, well, then get your gear. please don't send me. Well, he warned him. <gasps> oh, he's a bit clumsy. Oh. May I bring my typewriter, sir? <gasps> your typewriter? He wants to bring his typewriter? A pen and pencil. Oh my god, he wanted to bring his typewriter. That just really kills me. Take your time, Cole. Oh man, I really hope this guy survives. You don't need to carry those. You'll need that. <laughs> oh, wow, look at all the other freaking boats coming in. Seriously, this is like amazing that they were able to do that because that was crazy. Little sheep bubbies. Look at that little baby one. I want your head blown off, you fancy little fuck. Don't you ever fucking touch me with those little rat claws again? <gasps> the fuck back in formation. Oh, oh my god, he's just trying to make a friend. <gasps> Every time you salute the captain, you make him a target for the Germans. Don't do it. Especially when I'm standing next to him. Capiche? Capiche, but he's he doesn't know what he's doing, you guys. You wanna explain the math of this to me? I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? Yeah, because, like, can't someone from Newville, like, save him? Or did I not understand that right away? We all have orders and we have to follow, and that supersedes everything, including your mother's. Yeah, an order is an order, right? Especially if you think the mission is too bad. What's too bad? It's a TV show. <laughs> the entire mission is a serious misallocation of valuable military resources. Oh, this is the way to gripe. <laughs> Griping. Used to put me and this here sniper rifle anywhere up to and including one mile of Adolf Hitler. He's taking the shot. Pack your bags, fellas. Yeah. War's over. He's a chain of command. Gripes go up. <laughs> He's a professional captain in the military. Say this is an excellent mission, sir, with an extremely valuable objective. <laughs> He's good. He is good. Wow. Blending the sound of the raindrops with the gunshots. I don't know if it's poetic or if it's just a genius way to shoot a movie. Oh, the French lady yelling that the Americans are there. The Germans have a hold here. Yes, eight of us. We're not your relief. Huh. Sorry. Relief. What do you mean, sir? We're here for a yeah. private Ryan. Yeah, we're here for private Ryan? Why does it have to be raining? It just makes everything so much harder. And then you're all wet. Oh, that's it. <laughs> the guy on the the German guy <laughs> is that code wants a little snack. He's like not phased at all. He's like, mm, I'm just gonna eat an apple. <laughs> oh. How do you see anything in the rain? That's what I want to know. It's like shooting at someone's dead body that's laying there. As long as his lungs have breath in him, he still carries the message. We do the same thing. No, we wouldn't. What that's why they're shooting at him. Pretty good cover on the left. Show me. Sarge, yeah. hold right here. Honestly, I would do anything Cap says. I just feel like he's so good at his job. This must have been crazy shooting this in all that rain. Like the movie rain, you know? Must have been so cold. <laughs> Helps you get into character and feel like you're there, you know? I mean, where's the captain from? Did you get that one out? You got yourself a nice prize. 300 bucks last I heard. Oh, he doesn't tell anybody where he's from, I guess. It's not about him, it's about their mission, you know? He doesn't really have time to shoot the shit. They're there for a reason. I pay attention to detail. I know exactly where it's from and exactly what he did because I pay attention to detail. I wonder if he actually knows. Thunder, we will fire on you! What's she saying? Papa, come to show themselves. Yeah, here you go. <gasps> does she have a baby with her? Oh, she does. Oh, look at their poor house. <gasps> oh, I had the children. Oh my god, the poor thing. 
Oh, we can't take the kids. We can't take the kids. We can't. Oh my God, something better not happen to this little girl. Are you nuts? Listen to the captain. Mom, what are you doing? Put Oh my God, something bad is gonna happen. I can't. She reminds me of my niece, sir. Not here to do the decent thing. We're here to follow fucking orders. Took his thing off and it protected her. Oh shit! God damn it! Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Is he dead? Oh no, are they in the tower? Thank God that little girl is still alive. The sniper's got talent. Oh my god! That'd be so scary. Where did he get shot? Hold on, buddy. Kabarzo, stay still! Stay still, buddy. Just play dead. Play dead. This guy is gonna get him. How do you see in this rain? <laughs> Where's he shot, Captain? <gasps> Don't go. He's always praying before he shoots. Oh, uh oh. Are they gonna spot each other? Oh, get him first! Get him! Get him first! <gasps> get him first! Get him! Get him! It's it's to my dad. It's got blood on it. Oh no! Oh no! He oh! He's like, who cares about shooting this guy? <gasps> He's got him. <gasps> He's really good sniper. Oh, he's gone. They lost him. The little girl. Yes. <laughs> Oh, darling, little Jacqueline. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't ever let me go again. Don't ever do that to me again. This is so intense. I don't even know how to feel or to think or to what to say. Did they lose them? That's why we can't take children. Take it for his dad. Take it for his dad. He was just trying to save the child. <laughs> I mean, you're still at war even if you're going to find Private Ryan. So other bad stuff could happen to you everywhere. Hey guys, we're looking for Captain Hamill. Easy. Watch for snipers. Yes, yeah, seriously, watch for snipers. My God. So much stuff written on the walls. Oh no. <gasps> they found their hideout. Drop! 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 I literally cannot. Someone from the outside shoot in. All the people up top. Clear up! Clear down! What is happening? Uh, Nothing to make you old. Let's hope so. Fred Hamill, Pathfinder, Center first. John Miller, Second Ranger. Thanks, Hamill. Thank you. Yes, yeah, seriously. Looking for a private James Ryan. He's part of your outfit. <sighs> Literally every single person is in this movie. They're so bitter towards Private Ryan. I told you he was an asshole. Sir, Private Ryan recording is ordered. At ease. Your brothers are dead. <sighs> Straight shooter. Oh my God, my brothers are dead. I mean, I guess they all can empathize with this. If you have a brother or sister, anyone you care about. It can't be, my brother's still in grammar school. It's the wrong private. Tim Frederick Ryan, Minnesota. <laughs> I am the wrong private Ryan. Shit. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. We're looking for a different private Ryan. This is just a big foul up. How embarrassing. Where the F is private Ryan? The real private Ryan. This is gonna be crazy to find him. It's just hitting me now. I'm sure as hell could use you around here, but I understand what you're doing. You do? Yeah. I got a couple of brothers myself. Find them. Get them home. Oh, man. What's with your hand? It comes and goes. He's got tremors. How do you just chill with, like, bombs going off in the back in the distance? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's rewriting it. 
He did say to copy it, right? Because there was blood on it. I would want the one with blood on it. I know that's really morbid and weird, but that's the one that I would want. I'd want the one that he wrote. When you end up killing one of your men, you see, it happened. So you could save the lives of two or three, maybe a hundred others. Do you know how many men I've lost under my command? How many? 94. That's a lot of men. I've saved the lives of 10 times that many, doesn't it? You still lose good men. Except this time the mission is man. Oh, yeah. This Ryan better be worth it. He'd better go home, cure some disease, or invent a longer-lasting light bulb or something. <laughs> the truth is, I wouldn't trade 10 Ryans for one Vecchio or one Caparzo. <gasps> Question like everyone's life is worth saving, you know? It's just hard when you have to sacrifice other good men. Oh, look at his tears. Oh my gosh, I have so much emotion in this. Is it guilt? Maybe because he wanted to just let her know that you were sleeping and so she didn't have to feel bad. Kids do weird things all the time. Oh, so sad. Emerson's way of finding the bright side. You know Emerson, sir? What did you do before the war? What's the pool up to? <laughs> 500. I'll give you the answers and we'll split the money. How about that? <laughs> that we wait until it gets up to a thousand so. <laughs> I wonder if we don't live that long <gasps> this kid is like the poet of the group philosopher is he a teacher? I wonder if he was a teacher that's my guess a teacher, a professor where the F are you Private Ryan? he could literally be anywhere he could be dead he could run off into the sunset and been like screw everyone i'm running away from this all oh no oh no a tourniquet we're looking for a private james ryan smell that leg right there find out if it's south of cheese what i nearly broke both my arms trying to keep her level oh my gosh because the force we came down like a fucking meteor oh my gosh 22 guys dead. Oh, man. That's a tough pill to swallow. One man. A lot of that going around. Foobar. Foobar. Y'all got that right? <sighs> Start going through those. So many soldiers. Oh, my gosh. It's just so sad. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Is he going to snap? A damn airborne watching. A little bit disrespectful. Oh, he feels bad. Found it here sooner or later. Ryan! Oh, he's snapping. Yeah, I think so. Well, bring him up here, would you? Oh. You're gonna have to speak up. You're sir. gonna have to speak up, so sir. Good. My hearing. Come yeah. The German yeah. grenade went up right by my head. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. No, no, no. James Francis Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Him just like yelling around. He had his pencil he brought. Yeah. Of course I know him, sir. He missed our drop zone. Ended up way over by a bumville. Bumville? Ramel. The babysitter bridge. Ramel. Read and thank you. You're welcome. Frickin' did it. And it was tremors. Radar side. Handbag bunker right under the station. We can't go around it. I'm with Robin on this one, sir. We can still skip it and accomplish our mission. To leave it here so they can ambush the next company that comes along? Mm. Sir, our objective is to win the war. Oh. I don't have a good feeling about this one. When was the last time you felt good about anything? Oh, man. Is the Ramel Bridge like a real thing that happened? I have no idea. Three runners were suppressing fire. Mellish, you hook to the right. I'll go up to middle. Who's going left? Nobody. Because <laughs> we don't want to. I'll go left. Can't lose a sniper. We advance and keep pressure on him until he has to change out his barrels. Maybe I should go up the middle, sir. The way you run, I don't think so. Maybe you should shut up. Oh my god, they better not lose a bunch of people in their crew because of this. Oh my god, look at the dead cow. Oh, it's pretty smart to go behind the cow. Oh, this little buddy. Oh no. He must be so terrified. Oh no. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. <gasps> oh, I don't know. I don't like the quietness of this scene. <gasps> Who was it? Oh no, not him. No. Oh, He's their freaking medic. Right, Put right. his legs up, goddammit. <gasps> In the tummy, no. Right. How's it look? You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. I don't wanna lose this guy. You're gonna be okay. 
Got an exit wound. About the size of an acorn. <laughs> Is there anything bleeding worse than the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, so my Come on, Wade! <laughs> Tell us what to do. Tell us how to fix you. It's because he knows. He knows it's wrong. I could use a little morphine. Oh, he knows. He's not gonna make it. They lost him, they know. <laughs> there you go, please. There you go. I wanna go home, I wanna go home. <laughs> they all just wanna go home to their mamas. <laughs> what do they do now? They don't have a freaking medic. Poor guy. I can't believe this. Oh, he's pissed. Cap was right because he didn't want them attacking another platoon or whatever that goes by. Gets an information from this guy. Where's up him? Not yet. That's this piece of shit. If he's the one who shot Wade. Please, shut up with that filthy pig lad. Jackson, you're hit. Not the frickin' sniper. So are you gonna let them kill him? This is not right. So I mean, your morals just go out the window, I guess, when you're at war because you just see too much and you lose your soldiers and you lose your friends. You make different choices, I guess. Can't believe they lost Wade. I loved him. I forget that actor's name. He was really popular in the 90s. Isn't he in Empire Records? <gasps> Behind closed doors, right? Gotta let that emotion out somehow. Obviously, he feels responsible. The weight of this on him is just probably too much to bear. But you have a mission and you have a job. And you have a war to win. Like, it's just so complex. But you're still human at the core of it all. You're still human. You're still traumatized. You still feel. He's composing himself a little bit more there. Become friends with him. <laughs> He's the only one who can speak to him. He's digging his own grave. Up him. Is he gonna ask them to stop and not kill him? Please. I like America. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> Anyone will do anything when they know they're gonna die. You know what I mean? I say, can you see? He's trying to sing the anthem. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh, he just gave him the nod. No. Fuck Hitler. He says he's sorry about Wade. Maybe he is really sorry. He's just at war, just like all you guys. He's in prison. He surrendered. He did surrender. Oh, I hate war. I hate it. <laughs> to march a thousand paces in that direction. He turns himself into the first Thanks, Allied sir. patrol he comes across. <gasps> They are letting him go. Oh, thank God he did the right thing. Yeah, only if he doesn't get picked up by his own Vermont first and then thrown back into circulation. This is bullshit. Shooting prisoners oh, be okay. Shut your That's mouth. against the goddamn rules. Yep. Is someone gonna defy the cap's order and 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 shoot him? I swear, I hope Mama Ryan's real fucking happy. Ham! I'm done with this mission. Wait, you can't just leave, can you? You're just gonna walk away? You walk away from your captain. Captain! Oh, no, Shit. this is bullshit. Fall in. Fall in. Oh no, it's a calamity of f***ing errors, man. Put your money where your mouth is and do it then. Do it. Mike, what's I'm the pool on me up to right now? I can't handle all this infighting. 300? I'm a school teacher. Oh my god, I was right. I knew he was a teacher. I, I could just tell. Composition. That's why I knew Emerson. It's really shut up, everybody. Thank God. I just hate the fighting. My wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to her. How I'll ever be able to, to tell her about days like today. Oh, I don't think he'll be able to. So no one will be able to understand. Finding him so he can go home. If that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well, then that's my mission. Yeah, it is. I won't stop you. I'll even put in the paperwork. <laughs> I just know that every man I kill, the farther away from home I feel. Oh, God, that is so deep. Oh, my God. No one wants to kill anybody else, not even in war. I was putting him in on his own. No wonder why soldiers and people who come back from war just have so much PTSD because it's unfathomable. These situations and scenarios that they go through and the things they see and to lose people right in front of you and just the sounds. Like you would never, ever, ever, ever be the same. I have nightmares for the rest of my life. And you would question everything. You would question the world. Oh no, is it a helicopter? Oh no, is it a tank? 
Maybe they didn't have helicopters back in 44. I don't know. Oh, great. Great. Now if someone's shooting at them. Who took out the tank? Oh my God. We're coming out. Whoa, he had that bazooka. Charlie Company, second Rangers. Ryan, first of 506. Ryan. James Francis, Ryan. Yes, sir. It's Matt Damon. <laughs> this is the guy we're looking for. I didn't know Matt Damon was in this. I thought it was Ryan Philippe. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Now they got to tell him the bad news. We're here for him. Me, sir? Oh, no. <sighs> tell him the bad news. Is this the bridge? Your brothers were killed in combat. Which one? <laughs> All of them. Oh, man. I mean, the saddest day of my life. What's this all about? Ryan lost his brothers. <gasps> Which one? All of them. Even he was shocked to hear that. You're, you're going home. Oh, maybe he won't want to go. I have my orders too, sir. They don't include me abandoning my post. I hope they have respect for him now. Sir, I can't leave until at least reinforcements. You got here. three minutes. Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? <gasps> sir. Oh, the, oh no, the weight of that, but, but. What were their names? <gasps> Owen Wade and Adrian Capazzo. <gasps> why, why me, why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. Ain't that the truth. Is that what they're supposed to tell your mother? When they send her another folded American flag? Tell her that when you found me, I was here, and I was with the only brothers that I have left. <gasps> and that there's no way I was going to desert them. I think she'll understand that. <laughs> I guess there's no rule that says he has to go. You gotta have respect for him, you guys. You thought he was going to be a dork. He's not. Stand-up guy. So you're going to stay with them at their post and help them? What now? God, I respect that. I freaking respect that. Cross some strange boundary here. You're telling me. What do you think? You don't want to know what I think. I do. No, Mike, I do. <laughs> we do. We want to know. What if by some miracle we stay and actually make it out of here? Someday we might look back on this and decide that saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this whole god-awful shitty mess. Each side of the All coin. The right to go home. <sighs> Brother. This is everything. Put the sniper in one of the roofs. We can draw them up this main road here in between these buildings. We'll hit them hard we can. Fall back to the bridge. If we can, I could get you up in that bell tower. Exactly. How do we stop the tank? You know, we could try a sticky bomb. Yeah, what's a sticky bomb? Now we gotta surrender our socks. <laughs> Did Matt Damon get this after Goodwill Hunting? You need your socks and your boots, you know? Ugh, axle grease. <laughs> ah, no socks, that would suck. This is the Alamo. He pushes back this far, last man alive, blows the bridge. Whew. You will know that if you are that last man, you better hurry your ass up. Fucking boot scoot. Literally boot scoot. Where am I during all this? You're more than two feet away from me. You gotta keep him safe. You gotta be Johnny on the spot with the ammo, or we're dead. You can do this, up him. Thank you, I don't smoke. <laughs> you do now. Quite a situation, huh? <laughs> Fucked up beyond all recognition. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, he's still clumsy. I was like, where'd they find this little espresso machine? Shit out of luck there, Cap. Edith Piaf. Oh yeah, Edith Piaf. I've only seen Liv Livion Rose once with Marion Cotillard and she was unbelievable. I need to rewatch that. <gasps> he's translating for them. It's a very beautiful composition of this scene right here. Be honest with you, I, I find myself curiously aroused by you. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm just keeping the rhythm. Hmm. I can't see my brother's faces. You can't remember what they look like? You gotta think of a context. I guess they've seen so much in war, maybe you can't really think of anyone's faces. Think about something specific. Do you see their faces now? That was the last night the four of us were together. No. That was two years ago. Tell me about your wife and those rose bushes. You know, that one I saved just for me. Mm. Still mesmerized by the song and the words. <gasps> People coming. Uh-oh. 
baddies. Everyone to your positions. Me from the east. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Well, not amazing that these guys are coming, but amazing like sign language communication. Anderson, lock and load. Oh my God, lock and load for reals. I don't need any luck, Sarge. I was born lucky. Don't be seen in the bell tower. I don't want them to get shot down. The bridge. Oh, buddy. I feel like he's learned a lot in the past couple days. Up. Jackson's oh, fine. No. Oh, up. I'm just running around. I don't want him to be just like a shooting duck, you know? That thing's kind of cool to rip around on. Not in these circumstances, but it just looks like a cool thing to drive, you know? So stressed. So stressed out. I mean, I would probably share in that situation, even though I'm a bit of a germaphobe. <laughs> he really needed some gum to chew on, you know? <laughs> Stay alive, Private Ryan. Oh. He had a little bit of respect for him there. Can't even watch. Wouldn't they be like, it's a little bit quiet in here? Where are they gonna come through? Shoot at them. <gasps> oh, they are turning through. Snipe that guy. <gasps> is it go time? When is it go time? Is, are they waiting on this guy? Oh, they're waiting on that guy. Shit. Oh, picking them off like flies. Oh, the sticky bomb. Did he just blow himself up? You gotta chuck those things right away. Up, um, your helmet. Oh my God, your helmet. Oh shit, run, 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 run. Get run. out! Oh, your ears. Oh, okay, that was so smart. This takes the, the tanks. Way to go, Cap. Buddy. Oh God, there's so much blood splatter on the wall. Oh shit, right in the line of fire there, buddy. How did he literally whiz past all of those bullets? That's what I want to know. <gasps> Unfortunate for those guys. Shit. Oh no, buddy. <gasps> that guy went back to protect Private Ryan. Get off of me! Yeah, I'm fine too, Captain. He's like, this guy is going home alive. He is not dying. On, not on my watch. That, everything is gruesome about war. Everything is just barbaric. It's war, man. 20 millimeter, take it out! That guy didn't have a leg. Oh, they've, they've spotted you guys from up there. Oh no. Displace. Yeah, displace, get out of there. Who can you tell who is who in war? Everyone has like the mostly the same colors on. I'm sure they don't. Oh no, yeah, because America's green and then like the Germans look like they're in like black, but still there's smoke and guns and dirt. Oh, and everything flying. Like, how do you know who to shoot? This guy is talented. Oh, we missed that guy. I wonder if praying settles his nerves. Oh no, oh no, he spotted him. We can't lose. Can't lose him. No, they lost them. They lost the tower. Yeah, the 20 millimeters killing us. We gotta try to flank it somehow. Oh! Throw it out, throw it out. Get down. Oh my god. Oh no, is he paralyzed because he's so scared? I mean, I would be. <gasps> throw it back out, throw it back out. Oh, those animals, god damn it! Where is he going? That's not how you hold a gun. At least he understands what they're saying. Well, he knows at least where they're hiding. Up him! Uh oh. Up him? I mean, it didn't sound like up him. Up him would have been sprinting. I don't think he, that guy's gonna survive. I'm up! I need another bandolier, anybody? No, only Upham has the freaking ammo, and where is he? I don't even know. Oh yeah, they only have two left of those bazooks, don't they? A nice one. I think he's literally in shock. He's And all those guys went up there and he could have saved them. Get up there! Ah! Come on, Upham, get up there and help! Was that the knife that he got at the beginning of the movie? I mean, he hasn't shot a gun since basic training, so I mean, I can't blame him. Ah, stop! No, 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 no,
up and better freaking kill this guy when he gets to the top of the stairs. I can't believe this. I mean, I can't. This is like a war movie. Oh! <laughs> oh, he got... Oh, no! I love this guy. He knows that he lost his buddy because he didn't get up there fast enough. Is he surrendering? What? He just left him. Maybe because he knew he looked weak and he wouldn't shoot him or something. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I just feel for all these soldiers in every single situation they're in, from where they come from, how they feel about everything. It's just it's too nuanced a thing to even explain. <laughs> Go. Got an arm on you there, Private Ryan. Jeez, this is crazy. Oh no. Going We're going to the Alamo. We're going to the Alamo, yeah, seriously. He's good with the bazooka. This place. <gasps> up, um, you have some serious luck on your side today. You better man up, buddy, man up. <gasps> she get shot in the hand? <gasps> no, but he got, did he get shot again? No. He's not right behind him. Oh my God, he got shot right through the back into the heart. He's not gonna make it. I just got the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> Maybe it only hit him in the collarbone. Maybe he's okay. Frickin' blow the bridge as soon as they get on it, right? <laughs> the piercing of the ears, like you probably could hear nothing. <gasps> Whoa, he's having like a moment. He's stunned. He gotta blow the bridge cap. <gasps> Everything must feel like it's slow motion. Oh no, Private Ryan's just sitting there crying. Mike's gone. Oh no, is it a couple feet away from him? The trigger? This guy, they don't see him. Oh, is he gonna get revenge on that guy? Come on, get the courage, you can do it. He's got to blow the bridge. He's not going to be able to get back to his wife. No. I have no medic because Wade died. <gasps> like a bomb? Is he going to survive? Shoot him up him. Yes, buddy. Up him. Oh my god. Oh. People came in from the air to save them. Up them. Oh, you sweet thing. Private Ryan's alive. Oh, Cap. Medic! God, guy's such a good soldier. Angels on our shoulders. Angels on our shoulders, oh my god, it's true. Earn this. Earn it. No! No! Private James Ryan on his way home from European battlefields. His mom's gonna be so proud. Fast dedication. Even after he was informed of the tragic loss your family has suffered in. I've suffered great loss in this tragic war. Seriously. I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement. The Abraham Lincoln letter. To have laid so costly a sacrifice on the altar of freedom. You gotta be so grateful for Cap here. Oh, it is. It is. Private Ryan. Is he looking at Captain's gravestone? John Miller. Oh, look at his big family he has. I wouldn't care how I feel coming back here. Every day, I think about what you said to me that day on the bridge. Earn it. <laughs> I've tried to live my life the best I could. I hope that at least in your eyes, I earned what... All of you have done for me. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me I have led a good life. You feel so guilty. 
Well, I guess it's his wife. Oh, not his mom. His mom would probably be dead by now, but you did earn it. You are a good man. I salute him. I can't read it because I have too many tears in my eyes. Whew. How does Steven Spielberg make the best freaking movies? Like, he has a crazy brain. He's ridiculous. He's too good. And I haven't even seen all of his movies. <sighs> it's with a heavy heart that I tell you that that is for sure one of the best movies of all time. War is just so tragic. And like, this is probably a fictional story, but it's like, think about all the stories like this that are actually probably freaking true that happened. Thank you to all the soldiers who've literally saved us and saved the world and allowed us to have our freedom. Ugh, I'm, I'm at a loss of words because it's too hard to do like a <laughs> an outro after these. I've literally like been crying for like three hours straight. I'm gonna look up where this movie falls because my goal is to watch all 100 of the top 100 movies of all time because I call myself a movie buff, but I don't think I've seen all of them. Sorry, this movie lost out to Shakespeare in Love. I haven't seen Shakespeare in Love since like 1999, but I remember like not really liking that movie. I don't even remember all of it, but I cannot believe that this movie <laughs> lost to Shakespeare in Love. So we gotta watch Shakespeare in Love because no. Thank you guys so much for watching Saving Private Ryan with me. I literally, I I wasn't ready for all of that, even though I know it was a war movie. I am so thankful that I fueled before I watched that because I think it would have been a disaster. I had no words. I couldn't even put sentences together because the shock and the trauma of watching it, you feel like you are in that movie. That That's probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. Now I'm gonna go curl up in a ball and cry and just feel the weight of the world on my shoulders for about three hours and maybe take a nap so I can sleep it off because that's how uh, how I take things on. <laughs> if you've been hanging out on my channel for a while and you haven't yet subscribed, please think about doing so. It really helps my channel grow and I totally, totally appreciate it. Hit the like, hit the sub. If you feel like giving me a little bit more support, I do have my general Patreon up soon to have a second tier with all my unedited watch longs that I have will be found on there. Okay. Remember to be kind to one another and I will see you guys in the next reaction video. Ciao.